Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Boobins channel. In my previous video, I opened up this controversial <laughs> AliExpress pre-painted doll from online, AliExpress. Um, I did a review. Uh, once I assemble her, I will compare her. But I mean, for a factory doll, I think she is done very well um there were a lot of people wondering what her vinyl feels like or smells like and honestly i do not smell any toxins or anything she just smells like a normal like a walmart doll or my baby alive smell like her um i just showed you in my previous video I am surprised that she's not as shiny as I thought. I thought that she would be a lot more shinier. Uh, there is a solution on how to matte. Like, I'm not a reborn artist, so I don't uh, have any matting powder or anything. But there is an authentic ingredients recipe to get rid of the shine. So, um... I will share that technique one day. I think you just need some sort of finish, like a matte finish from a paint place. But um, I don't have any of that. But I will definitely share with you um, that the information that I know how to get rid of the shininess. But I mean, this is the uh, cloth body the kit came with. And I think it's very well done now the insides for her um in the limbs i actually buy my glass beads from an auto store it's called princess auto and you could buy um like these are recycled glass beads and you get the finest grit and um but if you want to be extremely authentic, you could buy these from McPherson's. I used to buy these from McPherson's all the time. They come just white. But um, these are recycled glass beads from Princess Auto. Um, I do have, I did reweight a doll. And it was a little on the heavy side for me. So I took out, oops. Now this will be filled with glass I plan on using this polyfill and this um nylon with these these are real glass beads. I don't know if you can pick that up but this will be in her body. But as for her limbs I'm gonna fill these up with beads from Princess Auto. I can link in the description where I buy it. But I'm in Canada too, guys. So, and I don't think Princess Auto has an online store. I don't know. I just buy it when I go to the city. I go to Princess Auto and I buy myself some glass beads. Okay. <clears throat> Let's begin. I will fill these up first. And then, just to make it a bit faster... But I will put this, I'll show you me putting this in her body, like how I like to place it. So, but these are simple enough. I'll just, I normally fill up with glass beads about here. And then the rest I stuff with polyfill. So I'll do that and be right back. Oh, and I need her head done too. Oh, another thing before I do that. I do have a bag of, these are poly pellets. They actually, they're not as heavy, but they actually do make the body feel super squishy and soft. So, but I also ordered, this is from McPherson's. And I just stuck it in this big giant uh, nylon stocking. But this is that baby fat, the belly flat, the silicone baby fat. And it's super, super squishy, but I mean... It doesn't weigh hard. It weighs even less than the poly. So, no, I think these are sold out. But I don't know. They, I don't know when they restock their stock. But anyways, 
I did fill up a baby with all of this, and I do enjoy it. But it was on my partial silicones I used this. So I think today I'll use this in part of her stomach, and I'll use this in her bum. I think what I'll do is, um, because I like making a bum shape. So I'll make this a bit long. I mean, kind of, so I'll put one side here and one side there. But I'll do that after first. I'll fill these up and I'll be right back. Okay, I filled these up, and I do want to point out that I did notice that these are the two arms. Look at that hole. is bigger than this one. But I had, I used a funnel, so it was no big deal, but I do want to point that out. This hole was, a lot, like, smaller. But, I mean, I've heard of artists cutting them out also, so is. No big deal. Okay. <laughs> I do have videos on me doing this as well, assembling a lot more in depth of what I'm doing. But I want to take these are knee high stockings. I like them because I don't have to cut them from like a pantyhose. I don't have to cut the panty part off. I'm going to fill this up with these poly pellets. This will be for her stomach area. So I do have, this is what I use for my crystal beads as well. So, just pull this up. Oh, did I drop any? This is extra stuffing I took out of my Nathaniel Levi. is my partial silicone. And um, he was filled, like stuffed with this. And I didn't need that much in him. I reweighted him. I also have a video on me reweighting him. But yeah, this is extra polyfill. And it's authentic polyfill. Or. Poly pellets, sorry. <laughs> Poly pellets. So I think that might be enough. Nice and squishy. Oh, I love that sound. Okay. When I tie a knot, I don't make it super tight. I like mine loose. So I'm going to make a knot near the top. Like about like this, so it can be squishy like this. I don't, I like it loose like this. Now I don't need this top. And because of these poly pellets, they have no fear of falling out. I will cut, <clears throat> excuse me, I will cut. And save this, maybe I'll tie a knot now. And save these for a future project. Okay, so here is my hip. It looks like this. Nice and loose. That's how I like it. Even if I go like this. But whatever. Okay, so. I'll put the limbs on first. Now I'm going to fast forward this, but like I said, I do have videos on me doing this already. So. So I cut these off, like, fairly close. I don't want to touch a final, but this is where you get a really close cut. Nail clippers, right to the, no sharp edges. Now when I get closer, no sharp edges. Be 
sure that the arms are on the right way. Scissors so I don't accidentally cut. I'd hate to poke this. And then get even closer. There, super close. I must say too that threading these bodies were really was really super easy. On some of the other reborn cloth bodies, like they seem like when you're starting to thread through, they always get stuck at the seam sometimes or stuck here or stuck here. Oh, I hate that. That was really super easy. Okay, she's empty. Okay, wait, maybe I'll raise you so you can have a better view okay so I will put a nest in her bottom so I want to feel polyfill I don't like for instance this will be her butt the glass beads I wonder if it's too big maybe heavy I might not need this you know what I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to use this as her butt. And I'm going to take out some of this weight. Maybe about... This is really heavy. So, okay. Let's do the nest first. And then her butt. I'm going to put one side of the ball on one cheek. And the other ball as the other cheek. Person the tripod. Okay, so I don't want to feel that big. I want to feel like nice, soft polyfill. That's why I say like a nest. <clears throat> and then. Oh, and it acts as the stomach too. Yeah, she's she's kind of small. That's okay. I wonder this might be way too much for her. So this is what how I'll do it. Okay. I have my cup here. <clears throat> it's actually a cappuccino cup. I have a cup of this she machine is for frothing milk and cream. Anyways. So here's, where's that thing I just made? This leftover. I will put this like that. I don't want this whole thing. Now these are glass beads from McPherson's. So I wonder if I can just untie this so I don't have to waste. Oh, you weren't even seeing that. Okay, I just untied the knob that was there. Maybe I want 
this much. I don't want. Can you see that? Hopefully you can see. Oh, these are authentic, if you can see that. These are real grass beans from McPherson's. Okay, I don't want that. I want this much. Yeah, that's better. Okay, remember I don't want to tie it too tight. I don't want a very tight ball. I like a loose... Like, I tried that. I used to make them with really tight, and I just didn't like it. So, I'll double this because it's glass beads. There. That's like an... Ooh, it's getting stormy out there. Okay. So. Ooh. I like how these feel. Yay. I'm happy with the poly palettes. Okay, I'm going to put some of this... More fill. Do you see what I'm doing? Okay. And then this thing has white near the top. Not too much near the top. Kind of like in the chest area, stomach, top, stomach. I still have the poly pellets, which I like. I like that bean bag, sort of. Okay, I don't want her too filled, but I still want that nest. I think I will put something right in front. Holy, is it ever raining? Okay, I still feel. Oh yeah, and I want to feel, oh, that's what I'll do. I'll use this for her head. So I have this much left. Yeah, I'll use this for her head. That's a good idea. Almost forgot about her head. Now do I have enough to double it? Not really. So I'm gonna put this first. I just don't want glass beads to go all over, spilling everywhere. Okay, I want it kind of squishy, like a brain. Just kidding. <laughs> See that? Yeah, I'll put this in her head. Now, some people like to have the weight in their front. Some people like to have it in their back. I personally like in their back because I cuddle mine a lot.
and she used not the body polyfill in her and she used this other polyfill. Oh well. Make sure she's a good weight. Yep, I like it. So make sure I was trying to say make sure the bump is on there, like out, like here's a circle. If you make it from this side. Make sure that bump is out. And look how easy this is to thread. There's no, no snags anywhere. I was surprised. There's always snags in the other reborn bodies. Okay, I don't want Can you see? Okay, good. I got it. Make it too tight. I made the tie too tight. Oops. Now I know why they give you extra ties. I always have extra zip ties anyway. Okay, this time I can't make it so small. Can't make it like that big. I don't want any of this. No, I can't pull this in. There. Cut it. Get close to it with. And these you can cover if there's enough material. Okay, it's starting to storm. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. There's all my garbage. Oh my goodness. Okay. Best thing about working in the dining room is that I can easily vacuum and sweep. Okay, her chest. Looks a little flat, but only because I like doing this. <laughs> oh, she's sweet. And she's not shiny at all. Look, I waited her. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, she is sweet. I have to come up with a name for her. Okay, I have a size one camper. I figured she might be a size one. Oh, and this is how her booty turned out. <laughs> I 
I'm happy with her. There, I lowered you. I have a wonder wafer. I love these. You can put them in the body itself or in the diaper. Oh, that scared me. It's really windy. We're supposed to have a storm today. <laughs> She's cute. Okay, I have this white onesie. 